Welcome to this week's Meow, or Monday's Essential Operating Wetwear. This week we are jumping in to have a look at CAT's organic synthetic acid, CAT-206, and the need to regularly clean suppressors for maximum efficiency and performance. Firstly, what is a synthetic acid? The term seems both technical and a little dangerous, but is it? A synthetic acid isn't a standard term in the context of chemistry. When something is said to be synthetic, it usually just means the substance was man-made or created artificially rather than being of natural origin. The ability to create something synthetically in a lab allows the ability to remove any chemical compound not required in the formulation, allowing for a vastly more targeted product. Now imagine a chemical formulation that is specific to a task, but additionally classified as a non-hazardous organic compound, with a proprietary product that is non-toxic, and with test results concluding it is 100% biodegradable. CAT-206 was engineered to break down carbon and fouling on dedicated CAT titanium and Inconel suppressors, whilst potentially only causing mild irritation to skin if not rinsed off with soap and water. The R&D team behind CAT required a specific non-corrosive metallurgical cleaning solution to support the regular maintenance of CAT suppressors that didn't require excessive soaking times, heavy brushing or ultrasonic cleaning with hazardous materials. As titanium and inconal both have exceptional anti-corrosive properties, CAT-206 is unique in its ability to clean carbon and fouling on these two suppressor construction materials, yet be highly corrosive to other materials such as aluminum and steel. Traditionally, premium peer suppressor offerings required up to 24-hour soaking in other cleaning products such as CLR, with additional brushing or multiple treatments required. For CAT, this return to duty timeline was too long and not operationally possible for elite team usage. CAT-206 has a cleaning schedule of 2,000 rounds, with a one-hour soaking time frame, clean water rinse, and a drying requirement that can simply include direct sunlight to direct airflow, such as a hairdryer or compressor. But why is the cleaning of a suppressor so important to performance characteristics? 1. Efficiency reduction. Carbon buildup can fill the spaces and chambers inside the suppressor which can reduce its ability to effectively trap and cool the expanding gases. As a result, the suppressor may not reduce the noise of the gunshot as effectively. 2. Increased weight. Accumulated carbon can add weight to the suppressor, which can affect the balance and handling. 3. Back pressure. Excessive carbon buildup can lead to increased back pressure, potentially leading to malfunctions or changes in the rate of fire. 4. Corrosion. Carbon can trap moisture and in combination with certain compounds found in gunpowder residues, can accelerate corrosion inside the suppressor, weakening the suppressor's structural integrity over time. 5. Accuracy. Carbon buildup can also impact the bullet's flight path, especially if it starts to obstruct the bore of the suppressor, as it can cause pressure dynamics on the bullet. Therefore, regular maintenance and cleaning of a CAT suppressor can help mitigate performance inefficiencies, ensuring that the CAT suppressor functions correctly and lasts significantly longer. With effectively a for-life product, such as a suppressor, and the sole reason for its existence as being for its suppression characteristics, proper and consistent maintenance, is a must to keep performance as high as possible, for as long as possible. This is why CAT strongly opposes shooting suppressors with water, Vaseline and grease alternatives to reduce sound or flash parameters, as these additives affect the long-term performance of a suppressor product. We understand that some manufacturers do this at field events or demonstrations, but this should not be considered a normal civilian practice for long-term suppressor product care.